Don't believe a word of it. Well, she were coming out at pot shop. And why shouldn't Minnie Colbert be coming out of Ashcroft's pot shop if she wants to? Ah, but she were carrying a little white milk jug. Now, what does she want to do that for? She's got umpteen milk jugs. I know I've lived in her house. In fact, I'd go so far as to say she's got so many milk jugs she could leave her collection to the nation. Well, if you ask me what I think, I think it's meant as a present. You don't mean a wedding present? She'd never. I think she has. Oh, shopping. And about time, too. You know, if you make a habit of lingering in that little back room, you'll have people think you were doing a bit of knitting. Oh, I'm afraid we've no time for knitting it. And you have to wait a bit now. We're on a fresh track. The position she's put us in. I know. The position. These quiet ones, eh? Mind you, you have to bear it in mind. She has had a bereavement. We've all had bereavements, but it hasn't turned our brains. I know, Ina, but you have to bear it in mind just the same. Oh, I will. Card of knicker elastic. A whole carb? That's what I said. Buy in bulk and you save money in the long run. You're not watching the wedding, then? Somebody has to man the fort. I love a wedding. Watching them, I mean. You know, life's for the living, love. You know, if I was you, I'd get in that back room with him and I'd do a bit of knitting. She's late. Only 50 yards to come and she's late. I'm sure our Lily was never as long as this in vestry. Oh, they make a meal of it these days. And that vicar got a funny voice. Didn't hear a word, I don't mind telling you. Oh, at last! Come on, let's get out of here. I don't want to get stuck. I want to see that photo took. And give her a nudge. Clocks on the left, Barlow's on the right. I'm oh, right. sure oh, you've got me. some film in that camera, young fella. Come on, then. Minnie, will you stop scriking? Well, it always makes me like that. Oh, didn't the vicar talk lovely? I only could hear him. Very high flown and all. Oh, he's not a patch up though, vicar, this one. You know, when you come to think of it, it wasn't a very big wedding, were it? Well, they didn't have the red carpet like a certain lily and a, sort and a certain wolf, if that's what you mean. I never said a word. No, because I stopped you in time. Isn't there a lot of kneeling to a wedding ceremony? He knows all. And knowing the condition of my knee joints, so doubtless the good Lord will understand. Now, have you composed yourself? Yes, Ina. Good. Because we now come to a little matter of a milk jug. <clears throat> Mrs. Sharples, what are you doing in this bar? I've come to buy a drink. You what? Not only have. But uh, I, I think I'm all right, love, thank you. I didn't notice you at the wedding. No, you wouldn't, because I wasn't there. You know, I've had you on my mind these last few days. Me? I think you think I spoke out of turn when I gave you that tip-off. Oh, it's, it's past history. And I'm digging it up, eh? Jack! Uh, gin and tonic for Mrs. Tanner and put it on slate. On slate? Well, you don't suppose I carry gin and tonic sort of money around with me, do you? I know exactly how you feel, Elsa. Do you? I know. It's a wrench. I felt exactly the same way when Mr. Sharples went on. Of course, in that case, he wasn't going to Scotland. Oh, well, where was he going? Across the Great Divide. Oh. Oh. Um, you know, it's a funny thing, but the only thing I missed about Mr. Sharples was that couple of lovely warm feet in them small of my back. <laughs> Mrs. Sharples, am I hearing her right? I never thought I'd hear to live you hear you say something like that. Yeah, some of the things I do think and never utter. You know, I know a good deal about life. People around here think I interfere. I never interfere, I only help. Now, what I want to say is this. You are in the prime of life. You are a full-blown rose. Aye, and the caterpillars have been at me. What you want to do is to get yourself a fellow. A decent fellow, man, not just any sort of fellow. Keep an air of mystery about you, and you'll be down that aisle before anybody can say anything. Go on, I've got to keep an air of mystery about me. That's right. <laughs> 